What's up, doodlers? Bree Doodle here, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I have been gone for so long, still trying to understand YouTube and everything going on with TikTok. Don't want to go there. But as you saw from the title of today's video, I'm going to talk about how I moved from being a minty to an intern. Let's get into it and let's get doodling, everyone. <laughs> So how I went from being a mentee to an intern. The story itself is actually pretty funny in my opinion, but it's also like full circle moment. So I've been through a lot of mentorship programs. I was involved with the Netflix Foundation program um, as a visual development track mentee. I also went through Disney on the Yard as a Disney, um, through the Walt Disney Company as a Disney on the Yard mentee. And I've been with DreamWorks Animation for their fellowship mentor, um, mentorship program as a fellow. Shockingly, the first mentorship program I ever did in my life was into it. At the beginning of college, I was trying to find things of sort of like my interest and I know I wanted to do something that involves with design because I love design as you saw and see in my title I'm a designer and illustrator so I'm ranged from not just from the animation side but also other things um, but the way that I started was through the Intuit mentorship program I had no idea what I was gonna get into <laughs> so it was February 2021 yeah full circle moment right here and I started the program I did not know what to expect I met um, the program director who is also a very good friend of mine and also um, the first recruiter I ever met in my entire life her name was is Gabby she and through that mentorship program I was paired with um, this man who is also really good friend of mine and really cool his name is Lenny so I went in and I was like okay I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> and I at the time I didn't have a portfolio I didn't know what to put in my portfolio and I was just so stumped and sort of lost so the best advice Lenny told me um, through that mentorship program he was like you know sometimes to get to where we want we sometimes have to take different paths to get to where we want um, and some, and we also have to make sacrifices to get things that we want. So, you know, you want something, you have to make a lot of sacrifices. And that sort of stuck with me throughout that whole program. Cause I was like, God, yeah, I gotta do a lot of sacrifices. But at the time still I was lost and like, okay, what do you mean by you have to take sacrifices to get to where you want to be? I hit a rough patch, um, throughout the program a little bit. I was just very frustrated at the time and literally that last week of that program I literally cried because I literally cried in front of Lenny because I was just like it was so much and I was like I don't know what I'm doing I don't know like it's so much I can't do it and I'm, I just kept going on and on and on and Lenny and I was just telling him like I just can't do it and he had me calm down and then he told me he said remember when I told you um, you sometimes have to make sacrifices to get to places that you want to be. And I'm like, yeah, he said, this is the full circle moment, sort of. You sometimes have to take risk or you sometimes have to make sure that you are ready to take on the challenges because if you're not in a good state, then how are you going to be in a good state when you go into the workforce? After that mentorship program, I got into the DreamWorks Fellowship program, which was an amazing experience. I'll talk about that in another video. And um, also... I was a part of the Netflix Foundation program, which that was a great program as well. And I talk about that in another video. I'll probably just do a video on all the mentorship programs that I've done, but um, they're all great experience and helped me grow as an individual and also as a illustrator and a designer and an artist. So full circle moment was when um, Intuit came to my campus. Um, one of my professors had close connections with the recruiting team and um, he mentioned my name. Um, Gabby, who was in contact with my professor, was like is that is her name Brianna Odom and he said yes and um they were just spoke very highly of me and just said that I was just a great um person throughout the whole program and I was able to meet Gabby in person we talked for a while and I told her the reason of why I did not go out for the internship program at the time because that talk I had with Liddy I felt like I was not ready to take on an intern role Told Gabby, I was like, I just can't, I just couldn't do it. 
I was not in a good state of mind and mentally I was not prepared and I knew if I took that opportunity at that point I would not do the best that I could and I was um I was honest with her when she was there too and she asked me why I didn't do the um, internship program and I said I was just not in a good headspace I was not in a good mindset um either through the whole program I mean yes I was doing the work and everything but I still felt like I wasn't putting my best foot forward I soon told her at the time um when we talked I told her I do feel ready we're going out for the internship this time because I've matured I've learned my ways on how to if I get really panicky and I freak out I know how to calm myself but also I know how to like be um, in a good headspace as well when it comes to really to difficult times so through this process and through everything that I did through that whole program I went through the application and I filled it out two weeks went by and I got an email that said hey where are you guys signed up for an interview and I was like oh my god and they gave me um this whole project I had to create and also the interview was an hour I always had interviews that were like 30 minutes the interview was an hour <laughs> so throughout that process I only had like three days to prepare very nice interviewers uh, and they were so sweet and also at the time I was also going through more interviews <laughs> throughout this process with that and then it was like a week later I just I was like okay you know what I'm just gonna do the best I can and see what happens I think I was drawing on at home then I was at home for winter break and I was drawing on my uh, tablet uh, well my drawing monitor um, I was drawing on my drawing monitor and after I think it was like a week um, after my interview I got a <laughs> I got the, an email that says into an offer and I was like oh I thought it was just like oh you're gonna do another round of interviews and so then I read it and the email read that they want to extend an offer to me of being a product design intern and the team wants to work with me and I was like I cried I jumped I screamed my mom looked at me like something was wrong <laughs> I found out I got an internship I landed my very first one that's not remote that is in person and um at that time like when I was going through the interviews and everything and when I um was talking and I talked to um Ashley about the offer um super sweet it was a great conversation great conversation absolutely and um through the process I um had to do a lot of thinking because I was like oh my god and it was being in California so this would be the first time I would go to California and I was like oh my god everybody that I've networked and connected with there I don't know what to do I gotta get luggage I gotta get clothes I gotta like figure out flights and everything but by the grace of God everything was um paid for my flight and my stay except and the process so far has been smooth sailing and I didn't really have to worry a lot about um, expenses because it was most most of the expensive expenses were um, taken care of and um, it also saved me some money especially my parents um, but it was a full circle for me because I was like this first mentorship I did I went from being a mentee to an intern so if you see on the speed drawing that I yes am an Intuit intern as a product design intern and I'll probably make a video in the future of everything that I did as a product design intern because I know some of you guys want to know how it went what my experience was I promise I will give all the deets once everything is finished and done once my summer is over <laughs> I do just want to take the opportunity to say thank you to Intuit for giving me this opportunity and I'm so excited to get started this summer this will be the first time that I'm going to California I'll be traveling um, by myself <laughs> um, so yeah there's that it was a full circle moment for me because this is the first time that 
I went from something that I started with and extended it to something that's even bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. Super excited to go through this process, embark this new journey, but I would definitely, definitely um, get you guys up to date on everything that is going on. Um, I have some videos in mind of what I want to do in the future, but um, in the end, this is the final product. It's so cute. I know it's cute because um, originally my um, my avatar was a purple shirt, but I wore a blue shirt, the Intuit Blue, um, for this special occasion. So yes, this is the final product. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the speed drawing and me talking this commentary. Um, if you like more video formats like this, let me know in the comments. Also, if you just enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, so thankful and grateful for the community and the platform that I have. And you guys, you guys are amazing. I love you all. As always, keep doodling doodlers. Bye. <laughs>